Hello and uh, welcome everybody to Faith Media Show. Uh, we do sincerely apologize uh, for um, the delay today. Uh, we unfortunately were having some technical difficulties. We did have a, uh, a test for our live stream uh, yesterday. Um, everything seemed to be working fine, uh, but sometimes that happens uh, with technology and uh, you just kind of have to roll with punches and uh, you know, work make the best of it. Um, I'm your host, Danny Terry. Uh, I'm being joined by my co-host, Gail Schultz. Gail, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I, I do apologize, too, for that, but I'm great. I'm glad to be here. It's a good time. Yeah, so, uh, Gail, how's, uh, how, how's your Sunday been? Uh, very relaxing. Um, nice. It's a beautiful day out here in Virginia Beach. It is. It is a very, very beautiful day mm -hmm. and a uh, beautiful Sunday. And um, we're, we're definitely on, on the heels of, um, of Easter. It's been a, it's a wonderful Easter. Did you have a good service uh, for, for Easter Sunday? Uh, we actually um, had Passover. So we didn't, I didn't get to, because I was so tired from doing Passover, we didn't go to fellowship for Easter. That's right. How, how was your, <laughs> how was your Passover service? It was magnanimous. <laughs> it was great. We had technical difficulties as well. We put we got this gorgeous tent for outside on our patio, and then the wind decided it was going to blow gale force winds, of course. And uh, I was holding on, not hoping not to fly away, while my husband's like, let me just anchor this one. I'm like, honey, <laughs> honey. So the whole thing bent, and we're like, ah, we'll just have it you know, outside without the tent. And then it, the wind just kept. So we ended up having uh, 22 people stuffed in our living room, which was fun. It's great because it made it just like it's supposed to be in haste and everybody was together. It was really sweet. That's great. So, good. so I know, I know that uh, Gail, your, your family is Jewish. So you actually do all of the, uh, all of the, the traditional uh, Jewish celebrations for Passover. Is that correct? Yes, we do the feast, God's feast, God's seven feasts throughout the year. And uh, and it's wonderful. It's good. It's a good time. Yeah, that's great. All right, so um, for those who are watching, uh, we thank you very much for joining us on the live stream. Uh, again, we sincerely apologize for our late start today, but um, what we are intending to do for Faith Media Show is we're going to have Christians who work in the media and entertainment industry that are going to be joining us as guests, and they're going to be sharing their experiences of working in the media and entertainment industry while also being Christians. So they're going to be able to openly uh, share their their faith. And um, we're starting off today. Uh, Gail and I are actually going to be interviewing each other, so you're actually going to get to know a little bit about our background. Um, in the industry and um, a little bit about our faith um, and it should be a wonderful show and I know next Sunday um, a good uh, friend of mine who's actually one of my co-workers Anthony Vorndran is going to be joining us uh, at 2 p.m. next Sunday and we certainly hoped that everything will go smoothly with the live stream but uh, you know I'm sure it will because I won't be on so it'll be no just kidding because <laughs> it won't be my interview that's that's a very Jewish thing to say. <laughs> well, it actually will be um, myself and Anthony will, will be speaking, but we'll be sure to record um, the stream so that way um, for those of us, uh, for those in, in the audience who are not able to join us um, live, that's okay. Um, uh, thanks to technology, we're able to provide a recording of the live stream for you. And we also will be uh, providing a um, audio file uh, for a podcast so that way it can be downloaded on Google Play and iTunes so that's uh, coming very soon and uh, again we thank you very much uh, for, for anyone who's watching uh, please feel free to comment and if there's any questions that you have for um, either Gail or myself please feel free to chime in and uh, we're just going to go ahead and start um, so Gail um, please tell the viewers about your background and how long you've been working in the media and entertainment industry. Hmm. How much time do I have? No, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I'll tell you a little bit about me. I'll give you the short version. Uh, I was born in Ohio. I'm sure everyone wanted to know that. 
we moved to California when I was really young. So I really consider myself someone from LA, grew up in um, West Hollywood. I always was interested in film. I could remember seeing The Sound of Music was amazing when I was like six years old. The Wizard of Oz, all the old musicals, It's a Wonderful Life, Miracle on 42nd Street. Um, musicals were my life and anything Capra-esque always really got my attention. And I just was wowed by these things, really wowed by them. Just, you know, when you're a little kid, it's just really exciting. And my brother and I used to put on, <laughs> we used to make my mom sit and we'd put on musicals. We'd get like record albums. That's right. We had vinyl back then, people, real vinyl. And uh, put it on our stereo and make our mom and anybody else who was in the house watch us do all these shows and it was great. We're always performing. And then uh, obviously I got into theater. I got into dance, all kinds of, you know, performing arts. And um, I grew up and everyone was always say I was funny, not funny looking. For those of you who I know what you're thinking. No, just kidding. <laughs> but I was funny. I always saw life from a humorous perspective. And um just a funny kid, always talking too much in class, always being funny. And I started to, I couldn't write. I really, I was like blocked up, I guess. But um, I loved performing in theater. And then when I was older, I started doing stand-up comedy. And pe because people just say, oh, you're so funny, you're hilarious. I even had somebody stop me once and go, oh, I saw your HBO special. <laughs> I was like, I didn't have one. They're like, no, no, I know who you are. And I was like, okay, well, that maybe that's a foreshadowing of what's to come. But um, I started writing with a friend. They asked me to do some skits after I moved here in Virginia Beach and asked me to write some comedy for them. And I did it. And I was raising my kids and it's kind of hard to do all of that, especially when you take your kids to one of your shows and your eight-year-old starts shouting out all your lines. Thanks, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> While you're doing your act. So um, I kind of put that down and then someone said, hey, what about uh, screenwriting? Do you, would you like to work with me on a script? And I was like, ah, what's that? I don't even know. So I started um, helping someone and we wrote several scripts and then years later after raising my kids and you know my my parents both passed and my husband's parents passed I started writing again and actually took a writing class just so I could be updated at Regent University script writing and um then the teacher was like, you're a great writer. I'm not saying this. The teacher said it. He said, he said, you're a great writer. Don't ever stop. Keep going. And I started doing stand-up comedy again. And I, <laughs> um, I started performing in local cubs and it was fun. But then it was, I didn't really, I was like, eh, I don't like the nightlife and it's smoky. And so I just said, I think I'm just going to stick to writing. So I started writing and then I decided I was going to make a short film, which I had no idea how to do. And uh, my friend Jason helped me and wrote with me, wrote, produced and directed a short film called Graciela's Gift, El Regalo de Graciela, which is on um, YouTube. You can watched that cute little film. I had no idea what I was doing, but amazingly, and that's where we met Danny. Um, amazingly, people just helped and wanted to help out, and wanted to work at the on a, a sweet script, they said. And um, we made it. I sold everything in my house that I owned, <laughs> except for my bed and my son's bedroom furniture and our kitchen table to, you know, be able to help um, just do the food and just costumes and whatever. And um, 
it was a great little film and it got nominated for a couple awards. It's only 15 minutes long. And now I'm working on a full length feature of that for I can't talk about, but I'm doing that. And I have another project, which I also can't talk about. <laughs> I can talk to not talk about it. I don't know. Yes, yeah, very, very so, secretive. Can't can't tell. Uh, you, don't yeah. wanna, you don't want to give any spoilers away. Right. And then hopefully you and I will work on that other project that we can't talk about. <laughs> <laughs> So we're here to talk about things we can't talk about, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, but you'll know in the future, within the next year and a half, we'll probably get those projects uh, going. So that is me. And um, let me tell you a little bit about my faith, and then I'll I'll pass it back to you, Danny. Or do you want to ask me a question? Yeah, I just wanted to comment on, uh, like, uh, oh, you comment. It's a, uh, <laughs> a little bit of background. Uh, Working on uh, Graciela's Gift actually was the first time that I got to work with Gail, and it was such a wonderful mm -hmm. experience. Um, how I actually got to work with them, I knew Jason Sonvico. Um, he's actually one of our colleagues. He's in the Virginia Beach area. He works for CBN. Hi, very, very, very talented man. Um, very in touch with his faith, and he had needed um, some more camera operators for the film and he had asked me if I had some time available to help with the film. I said, yeah, sure, absolutely. And I, I was able to bring my camera and my camera equipment and I was in, uh, ended up being one of the camera operators. I think it was at Kempsville Presbyterian church, wasn't it? Right. Yes. Cause we filmed at three different churches. Yep. That was the day that none of the extras showed up. Yeah, that was, that was the only, <laughs> uh, sorry about that for the second there. Um, that was the, uh, that was the only time that I'd actually worked on that film, but mm -hmm. you know, the, the time that I had been there, I mean, everybody there was so gracious and so very much in touch with their faith. And it was just a wonderful group to work with. I mean, honestly, I think as far as working on films, Christian films have been the most enjoyable experience that I've ever had. So, um, and I know there are several, um, other Christian filmmakers who can, uh, who can relate to that. And uh, it's just, you can't, uh, you can't, uh, there's, there's no way that you can match that experience. I mean, of course you can work on a Hollywood film and, and of course it'd be a great production, but to really get fulfillment, you know, that's very much in touch with your faith. I think Christian film is like one of the most en enjoyable experiences. So, um, now Gail, um, what influenced you to want to become a screenwriter? Hmm. I think I just kind of fell into it and I did. Well, I fell into it with helping that friend that I had said, but then um, we were living out in the country and I was just sitting one day, just having some quiet time being still is really important. And um I just got this whole vision, like a complete download of a film. And I was like, wow. I mean, I could see it. I could see it all. I could, I heard it in, and I was like, okay, I'm going to do that. And the more that I followed it and followed in that passion, it was like a seed planted. The passion just kept growing and growing and growing. And now I'm at the point where I just need to write. I see everything, you know, is a song. Everything is a, a short. Everything is a full length film. Life is funny, even in tragedy. I just, I love to write. Writing is now my passion. So I would say that little seeds along the way, little things that got watered. You know, my relationship uh, with the Lord is that grew deeper. He would just whisper things into my ear. And then here I am, you know, and I feel like at my young years of age, <laughs> at 105, that I'm just actually now, after 20 something years later, really just getting ready to launch like for reals for reals like everything is just about to happen and explode on my scene 
So years in the making. Yeah, and Gail, you can definitely uh, relate, you know, to what what it's like to to work in Hollywood because you your family you're originally from California, right? And then you yeah, I grew up in Virginia. Hollywood. Yeah, I grew up in Hollywood, which is ironic in itself because I grew up in Hollywood, and then I was like, I gotta get my kids out of L.A. This place is crazy, and so I felt led to move here to Virginia, but yet. That's where all my gifts and all the visions and hearing the Lord came about was here. I was teaching. I was just being a mom, raising my kids, and I was teaching. And then it just kept getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And uh, that's what happened. So it's kind of funny because now I'm, I'm going back there, you know. Yeah, but uh, honestly, I mean, the best thing that we can do is just uh, see, just trust what God has in store for us. I mean, you never know what might happen. You know, Gail started living in Hollywood and she was working with those and just decided, hey, you know, that's not a good environment to raise her family. And now she's, you know, she's doing very well. She's very successful with her screenwriting, very talented and um, has has a wonderful sense of humor and just... uh, you know, what? you never no. quite know what, what God really has in store for all of us. And, uh, you uh, don't, you know. it's, it's kind of like you can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. God's like, go ahead, run, go ahead, run. Yeah. You want to go from the West coast to the East coast, <laughs> from one part of the land to the other edge. Fine. Go, go <laughs> honey, go have a great time. I'll call you when I'm ready. And then you just, you can't deny it. You can't get past it. Yeah. Uh, for those yeah. who are joining, uh, just joining us, uh, th- welcome. Thank you very much for watching the live stream. Hi, everybody. Um, we are, uh, Gail Schultz and I are talking about our experiences and then our uh, our faith in Jesus. And um, for any of you who are watching on the live stream, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to chime in in the comment section. And um, Be nice, play fair. <laughs> Gail and I have actually <laughs> been talking about her screenwriting experience. Uh, she has a lot of experience originally from Hollywood, and uh, she's living in Virginia now, but uh, looks looks to be that, who knows, she might be going back to Hollywood, uh, well, as far as uh, with her career. In, not in, moving, in, just not career, moving, yeah. Not moving, but just working. But uh, um, Gail, um, as a Christian, as a filmmaker, more specifically a screenwriter, how has your experience been uh, in, in an industry that's uh, mostly secular? I don't, I don't see any difference. I mean, I'm called into filmmaking. That's, that's my thing. I have to do this. And just my faith, I'm sure it comes out in my writing. Cause I don't, I don't always, Graciela's gift was like, I would say that was like a little Christian short, but my other things are just about people's lives and their experiences. And, you know, your passion will come out. But also, I could be a little bit randy at times. <laughs> it's just, it's because people are people. That was profound, wasn't it? People are people. And uh, so my faith is strong. And there are some lines that I probably wouldn't cross. I say I won't cross. I'll say there are some lines that I won't cross, but I just write. And whatever I write, I write. I don't know what to say. I'm me. I'm just me. I love Jesus. I've known him for 38, almost 39 years now. And he's healed me, delivered me, saved me, set me free. Or as I like to say, set me loose upon this earth (laughs) (laughs) to do my thing. I'm just doing my thing. And um, I pray he blesses it and it blesses him amen and and y'all and yeah. bless y'all bless your hearts and uh gail how many uh how many films have you uh written or uh produced so far and which one is your favorite <sighs> how many things have i written and produced so far um hmm. i didn't know there was going to be a number quiz i'm really <laughs> not good with math uh, i've written probably about five i've only made the one short getting ready to 
do a couple things and I have about 20 bazillion ideas that have already been started on my screenwriter that I'm just ready to roll. So a lot, but you should, I would just tell this for people who are looking to write and want to write and are beginning like me, um, getting ready to jump off into the diving pool. Um, you should keep a notebook, not just on your computer. I have one on my computer. I have one on my phone and I like to write with pencil or pen on pages. So I have many notebooks. Whenever I get an idea, my brother and I are currently working on um, a screenplay. That's a comedy. And okay, Gil, it's a comedy drama. And <laughs> And uh, we're always, when we're together, if we're in the grocery store and we see something or whatever, we make little notes and we email it to ourselves because you're going to use stuff for later. So I just want to throw that in. Always make a mental note because you'll forget later. You'll go, what was that? And we're like, I don't know. And we're like, ugh, why didn't we write that down? So, um, yeah, I have a, Graciela's gift was the main little short that I did. I haven't, um, I want to produce and direct another film. Uh, it'll be next year. I can't talk about anything yet. So, and then two up and coming for sale, call me, text me. No, just kidding. Um, and that's what I got going on. So I've been in other ones though, but I, what's, uh, what's your, your favorite genre to write? comedy womp, womp, womp. <laughs> <laughs> did you know danny did you know that um i am related to curly of the three stooges are you really i didn't he, know that he is <laughs> really <laughs> no <laughs> that he's actually my great uncle by marriage but i think something seeped in our whole family is like theater background mm. so yeah so, Gail, uh, you've had the opportunity to work with many Christians on uh, various films and media projects. Um, just please tell the viewers about how your experience has been working with them and the impact that they've made on your life. You're going deep, aren't you, Danny? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. You know, um, I've worked with both believers and non-believers. And I think I just walk in love, you know, I just walk in love and I am me. And when I'm there, I, I haven't had like a bad experience on either side. I haven't. Um, I have met a few people that were really into themselves <laughs> as actors and I was like wow okay um but I I really I can't say that because I haven't had a bad experience I've always had a good one and I think that comes from who you are if you're just doing what you're called to do and you're being led of the Lord then you're gonna have a good experience no matter what the only issue I have is with technology <laughs> <laughs> cameras that don't work lights that fail equipment that you know yeah live so, live streaming for whatever reason live, it, it happens i wasn't you know, th with i wasn't gonna throw that out there i wasn't gonna throw that out there <laughs> live streaming that won't let us stream our show but it's been good i really enjoy it and i yeah. i enjoy it. it doesn't matter if it's believers or not it's great I've been a great experience. I, I agree. Yeah. Um, I've actually had the opportunity to work on a few films. Um, I've only done one, uh, I think just one, no, two, two Christian films. And I want to say three or four uh, secular films. But honestly, I mean, it's been a good experience regardless. Um, luckily, I, I've just been uh, lucky to, to have a good experience with that. Um, now, like I've, I, I have worked on, you know, some horror films, um, you know, but, uh, 
as not as the director, but as uh, either like an assistant director or like a camera operator, you know, because they needed some <laughs> additional help for it. But uh, yeah, um, I've actually still had a good experience regardless. I mean, there there have been some uh, some crew members who were kind of bad apples, but as a whole, mm-hmm. I think it still has been a good experience. But you know, being a Christian um, and being in in uh, films. It, that is a unique experience because, I mean, it's a lot of, it's predominantly secular, so it's a good opportunity for us to minister to others, you know, where we can um, not necessarily go out and, you know, preach like pastors, but we can go out and kind of, you know, people are wondering like, hey, you have such a positive outlook on life. What is it? And that's a perfect opportunity right. for us to share. Well, it's Jesus. You know, that's that's the reason why, you know, I have a positive outlook, you know, because, God, you know, so many blessings that he's given in my life, you know, I would mm-hmm. not be the man that I am without Jesus Christ in my life. True that, for sure. No. <laughs> and you're blessed. God blessed you. You know, you've got a, a great career going. You have a beautiful wife. That I do. Blessed is the man who has a wife. That's what the scripture says. But yeah, I just... um. I'm just me and I, I get with the Lord every morning and actually lately, um, in the middle of the night and I just bless him and I get with him and I just worship and I just let his day. And I think that when you are in charge of a film, you have to really look at the people and take them like they're your children. You know, what can I do to love them? What can I do to bless them? How can I make this flow easy for them? If you're not in a me situation, but you're in a they, you're looking how you can bless other people, how you can make their day. Oh, that person looks like they're not having a great day. Can I get crew? Can I get some tea over there? Can I, you know, um, you're just thoughtful and that's what Jesus did, didn't he? He ministered is, to the needs of people first. That is very true. And that and that even goes on a film set, whether you're just the service person doing you know, the food service, or whether you're a camera guy, you know, like my friend Russ, he's a camera guy too. And um, you know, whether you're a director or producer while you're doing your thing, always be sensitive and looking and seeing how you can be helping and caring because that's why people loved working on the film. And even though we had technical difficulties at times, you know, and people were patient, they were really patient and because we're caring and we're sorry. And I mean, these people were working for free. It's one thing if people are getting paid and they're getting annoyed, it's when they're giving of their time you know, and talent, and they're not getting anything in return, except a product that they can show. Um, You have to be mindful of people. I I love people. You know, I just love people. I love all the differences. I love people's little quirks. I love the dog that barks the loudest, (laughs) the mean dog. And I'm like, oh, you're just, you just need some love and you just need a little rub behind your ears, you know? Um, so that's, I don't know. I, I went off on a tangent. I'm, I'm known for that. I'm going to sip some water. No, it's okay. Uh, yeah. It's just, um, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's been a wonderful experience, you know, work, working in film and actually being able to also, um, being able to share, you know, my outlook with people and, it's pretty common for a lot of um, independent films for um, and, and for Christian films as well, but independent films and Christian films, it's pretty common for those who are working on the film, whether they're an actor, you know, they're those who are on the crew um, or it might be somebody who's doing craft services and that's helping to provide snacks for those who are on set. Mm-hmm. And many of those people are volunteers and, um, they're not getting paid. I mean, there are some people who might be getting paid, but a good majority of people on an independent film are there volunteering their time. And uh, that, you know, in itself is, you know, is part of that positivity that we as Christians deal with on a de- daily basis. You know what, where we can want to be out there for our community and to help to, to work with others. 
and you know you get a very similar kind of um, community working in independent film. So uh, I think that's uh, that's definitely a good industry that can really relate to what it's like to be a Christian because uh, you know we it, it's our our job as Christians you know to do what Christ would do you know and and if you think about it Jesus didn't only minister to just the Jews he also ministered to the Gentiles those who right. who were not believers and right. many and many of those actually became some of his biggest followers exactly you just have to walk in love the, i just wanted to share this one thing cuz a lot of people like or why why the name shake the bones uh productions and there's a scripture that the Lord gave me in Isaiah 60 where he gave me a vision um, about, it says, I'm going to read the King James Version. Yeah, it's old school. But uh, it says, Arise, shine, for the light, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon ye, thee. I can read well. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people but the lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen and the gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising and so what the holy spirit spoke to me through that was make the films that i show you to make and let that light shine through the light of the projector onto the screen and the world will see it, and that light will shine into the darkness. So it's kind of threefold, because dark world, dark theater, dark hearts. And that's that's my desire, is that the Lord use me to make an impact. I don't even have to use scripture or you know throw Jesus on the screen, because God is very unique. And he has ways of touching people's hearts and showing himself to them, you know, with a spoken word, a written word, and a visual word. Because he was a storyteller. He spoke in parables. But um, so that was one of the scriptures. So that's like I'm sitting here and I'm thinking as you're writing, things are coming to me. That was really profound for me. And that's why my thing is called Shake the Bones Productions. It's da bones because we're kind of funky and bones with a Z shake the bones. Cause I'm hoping that what I do is going to shake your bones, whether from laughing <laughs> or crying or just, I don't know, or just grabbing you and shaking you. I want to shake your bones, America <laughs> and the world. <laughs> anyway, yep. that's, that that, that's the, um, that's definitely, uh, that's that's a good um, name for a production company because I, I know you've actually mm -hmm. you you used is my that name. you've used that uh, production company name since you got started, right? Yes, yes, started officially in two thousand nine, yeah. I think nine ish. <laughs> to comment on that, yeah, like that's honestly that's that's how I live my life is uh, Ecclesiastes, you know, what uh, whatever mm -hmm. your hand finds to do, do it with all your might, you know, and whatever awesome. you know, uh, whatever talent that you have, you know, God blessed you for it and just mm -hmm. to use that talent to the best of your ability to glorify him. You know, whatever that mm -hmm. may be, you know, that uh, that could be you know, just like uh, those who are viewers um, who work in the media and entertainment industry like or like Gail and myself or you may just uh, work in business or yeah, in finance you could be an educator you could be an architect an engineer a doctor a lawyer you know whatever God uh, whatever talent that God has blessed you with you know do it to the best of your ability you know to, to make to, to make sure that whatever you do glorifies God you know because uh, you know with all this this world that we've we've been blessed with you know it's it's uh it's our job to make it a better place mhm mm walk in love walk in love not judgment just got to yeah. say that walk in love cuz one day you could be at the top and the next day you could be at the bottom so you just got to walk in love and grace and mercy with people even when they act cray cray <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so, uh, Gail, what would you uh, 
what would you say to encourage other believers, you know, who want to, who are watching this and they're interested and, you know, they don't know much about the media and entertainment, but they want to get into it. What would you say to encourage them? Two words, master class. I spent a whole year and a half. I joined master class and there's all kinds of information on script writing, writing novels, artwork, music, any kind. Now they have cooking and dance and singing. And I have master classed my way through the past year and a half. And actually, it has really helped me. It's great to hear other people talk, other people suggest what to do. You need to write every day, she said to herself out loud in a room <laughs> while the world was watching. You need to write every day, even if it's a sentence or an idea, um, and get that. But I really had to work on the discipline aspect of everything. So um, did I lose you on that? Yeah, oh, just uh, cut my out connection. a little bit there, but uh, it came right back, thankfully. So. Good, because I don't want to have to repeat because I don't know what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> Short-term memory loss. Thank you, 70s. Never mind. Those were before <laughs> Jesus days. All right. Got to just, um, just keep swimming. Yeah, keep swimming. Whee! I love to swim. I swim almost every day. Just want to throw that in <laughs> for you people who like water. Um, yeah, so get with other people, other like-minded people. Um, I actually want to, oh, hopefully by the end of the year, but definitely next spring, maybe through this summer, I want to do a writer's room where I just get a bunch of creative people together. And because I love, I get so many ideas and say, okay, let's be like Mickey and Judy and let's put on a show. Here's an idea. Let's go. You do this, you do that. Everybody go and come back and let me know what you have and help people just uh, kind of fellowship in a writer's room, the fellowship of the writer's room. There'll be no rings and we won't go through dwarf lands, but, um, or we could, I don't know. <laughs> I am kind of short, but I'm not a dwarf. <laughs> yeah. I've actually, I mean, go ahead, Gil. Uh -huh. I was going to say, I didn't mean little people. I was talking about, you know, Lord of the Rings kind of thing. <laughs> so don't get offended. Comedy is not PC. It just happens. Yeah, I've actually thought about myself um, where you were talking about a screenwriter's class. I actually mm -hmm. thought about that. I'd really love to teach, a, you know, like maybe a basic videography workshop to teach others. That's a good who, idea who are interested in learning more about video. So that way teach them, you know, the proper um, proceed, you know, how, how to hold a camera, how, how mm -hmm. to frame everything and also working with lighting with working with audio, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, even if it's something as simple as just going up to the local library and teaching a class there, and it could ju just be, you know, parents who are from the local area just want to get better at recording the video of, of their children, you know, instead of having just a shaky camera all the time to, like, hey, how can I make my video look a little bit more professional? So I think, you know, uh, I, I really want, um, you know, to to teach a, teach a workshop like that. And I think it would be a, a wonderful experience, um, not only for me, but also for the community because it would help others mm -hmm. to learn what I do. You know, I can I can use mm -hmm. my talent to, to help others to do the same. Right. Mentoring is really important. Whether you're a believer or not, if you have a good gift and, you know, you have, you should mentor someone. That's, that's why we're here on this planet to be connected and help each other move forward yeah. Amen. till we're, till we're out of this timeline and into eternity. So. Yeah. So, um, a little bit of my, uh, about my background, I've yes, actually, tell uh, me. <laughs> I've been a, a videographer professionally for the past 10 years, um, I'm here in the in the Virginia area. Um, I'm I'm in Richmond, Virginia, and Gail is joining us from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Uh, I'm at the ocean front. She used to be in Norfolk. Now she's in Virginia. That's Beach, right. But uh, I got rained out. That's all. <laughs> yeah. So I I've been a videographer uh, for ten years, and um, I have the opportunity to work with uh, CBN Christian Broadcasting Network, um, doing live streaming for them, and 
it's just been a wonderful experience as a videographer and I just, you know, I feel blessed and I just thank God, you know, for blessing me with a talent like that. Cause oftentimes I think of, you know, if I didn't have, if I didn't have videography and I didn't have filmmaking, what would I have? You know, like it, that, that is my, that's my area of expertise. And I just, I love it. I love working with the camera. I love, love working with people. And I also had the opportunity to work with the the local CBS affiliate that was in Norfolk, Virginia. And that was, uh, it was wonderful getting out into the community and to be able to hear other people's stories. And I think moving forward in my future, I think that's what I want to do. It's like, I want to become, I want to be a Christian filmmaker. I think more specifically working on documentaries, you know, and getting out there in the community and getting the story of others of not only uh, what's going on in the community, but also what's going on in their spiritual lives. So I love documentaries. I watch them all the time on Hulu and Netflix. Yeah, They're great. In fact, I just started one about the stories of lives of people. Um, oh, it's, it's like it's called street food. And it, it was really cool. But yeah, I think that's a great idea. I think you should do that. Yeah. I also uh, do, uh, do I, it I, now. <laughs> no, <laughs> I love uh, nature videography too. Like Me my, too. my wife, my wife Regina and I. Um, my wife loves animals. She actually wants to work with them, and uh, so it's uh, pretty often we go to the zoo a lot. Um, whenever we're visiting to a local, uh, if we're going out of town visiting somewhere, we try to make sure if there's like a local zoo there, we'll, we always make an effort to go there and. I love nature videography. I love God's creation and just being able to get out there and to, for me, um, I mean, I know a lot of people just like to go to the zoo without taking any pictures or videos, but for me, that's, you know, that's how, uh, cause I, I'm seeing it through my camera lens. Right. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. noticing more of the small details that we mm-hmm. would not normally kind of focus in on. You know, you're, you're seeing all these small, beautiful details that God really went went to 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 create those animals and you know even us ourselves you know there's just the minute details that he went through you know because that's 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 the the truth of it is that you know we were created by our creator Mm -hmm. you know and Mm -hmm. everything that occurs in this uh, it you know everything that happens happens because it's it's the lord's will yes you know and i think that's how we should all live our lives is try to no matter what we do, we try to do it based on is this guy uh, is this what God would want? And then of course, there's going to be some times where we kind of get we uh, backslide a little bit and chocolate know, cake. <laughs> we all make mistakes. We all sin. <laughs> I mean, we're we're all human here. So, but we're yes, st- we're we're still uh, believers in in the Lord Jesus Christ, and just try try to live our our lives the the best that we can. You're doing a great job, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about me, but I know I will let you know you're doing a great job. I could <laughs> use a little extra help when it comes to things like chocolate cake and <laughs> how much of the buttered popcorn do I eat at the movie theater? <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to pass up chocolate, you know, especially good. Chocolate I, know. I love chocolate. So oh. yes, I will accept all gifts of chocolate <laughs> I like organic the best, but I'll take anything. Yeah, just um, yeah. Send, send you can send Gail some chocolate cake, just like with Gabriel yes. Iglesias. Send him some send her yes. send her some chocolate cake. <laughs> send me some chocolate cake, and I will do a taste test <laughs> <laughs> online. No, um, yeah, no, I'm I love that about the animals too, and that's so funny. That's how we're so different, you know. I like to write the story down. I like to see it and experience it and then come back and write it and you like to film it through your eye my brother's like that too hi gil and um he's because he's always getting frustrated with me with my iphone he's like can you not like video he's like you're a filmmaker for the love of god i'm like no actually i'm the writer and a director but I'm not really, it doesn't work. He's like the all around. He's like Jason is like an editor and he can write and he can, he sees the whole thing. I see it, but I like to write it on paper, but you see it and you like to put it on film. Yeah. And that's, so, that, that actually, that's kinda, I know my family can relate. That's, uh, <laughs> that's something that I do. Like even just traveling, I always have my camera with me. I'm like, I always uh, try to re- 
you know, take some pictures, record video. And I know a lot of people saying like, how can you, in how can you enjoy the, the, the vacation? You know, if you're always have your camera out and like, well, mm-hmm. you know how you, you know, it, yeah, you're going to have memories, but also, right. you know, you have those pictures to remind you later on in life when you forget right. those memories. So right. I think, you know, that, that is, uh, is important too. And it's funny because I now you're making me think a lot of my brother too, <laughs> who's just like a hundred feet away from me and his apartment. But um, yeah, because I remember our family. So don't be discouraged. They were always like, "Oh my gosh, here comes Gil with the camera again." You know, back then we had those big, you know, ones that sit on your shoulder. Those huge '80s cameras, you yeah, know, that was and J- JVC. He, yeah, JVC. I still have one. I still have. I refuse to get rid of it because it's hilarious. And you pop in the big VHS, and yeah. um, and so that's so funny. My family was like, "Oh my gosh, here comes Gil! Hide your face!" They're like, "Gil, put down that camera!" But my brother, he is brilliant, and I think you're brilliant. You know. Well, thank you. I I think I'm really looking forward to working with you in the future. It's not a schmooze fast. I'm just telling the truth. I really think you're talented and um, I'm excited. Well, thank, I'm excited thank about that project, wink, 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 <laughs> that we're going to work on soon. Yeah, yeah I, I yeah. think you're you're very talented too, Gail. Uh, we actually have a question in the comment section. Uh, my, oh, wonderful, no. my wonderful wife, <laughs> Regina. Oh, hey, Regina. Yeah. Uh, Shout she, out, girl. <laughs> uh, she says, if there is a movie already done or released you would have liked to have done yourself which one and why mm. Mm. that's a very i good know question. the answer to that oh do you want me to answer it yeah, first go, go, or ahead. You wanna... go ahead the new mary poppins a mary poppins returns mary poppins yeah that was i loved it it was well done um and uh i yeah I would have loved to say, oh, I did that or I worked on it. Um, yeah, that was mine. That was me. What about you, Danny? I, I don't know. That's, uh, there's so, <laughs> ma- so many good movies out there that um, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. Maybe one of the Marvel okay, movies. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm narrow it. Star Wars. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm gonna na- I'm gonna narrow it down for you. It can't be Star Wars and it can't be a Marvel. Film. Ah, you gotta <laughs> gotta make uh gotta make it harder for me. Uh, I know because okay. I would love to do Star Wars too. I want to be in Star Wars. That's <laughs> or a Marvel film. You want to live the Star Wars. I want I want to be like some, you know, in a in a Marvel film. I'm just putting this out there. Like an older Jewish woman, and I'm I've got some matzo ball soup, and like something happens, like right in front of me, like a whole bunch of destruction, and I'm like, really? I've got this matzo ball soup. I have to get to my uncle Irving. <laughs> something funny like that, because they do put humor in it. Yeah, I uh, now that I think about, it, I mean, there's there's so many good films. Inception, I think, definitely, you know, because like uh, I, I love that film. Christopher Nolan mm-hmm. is a is a cinematic genius, and mm-hmm. it just uh, go uh, like because just the concept of going several levels down into a dream, a dream within a dream within a dream, and yeah, that was freaky. I love that. Yeah, and it's just like so so imaginative, and mm-hmm. I mean, I know, of course, at once. It won Academy Awards. I mean, that's not that's not the point. I mean, like, I wouldn't want to make right. that film, be, you know, just to to get the mm-hmm. awards, but to work on that. Um, and um, from what I what I understand, that a lot of the effects that they used in the film were practical effects. Believe it or not, it was not C- CGI. I mean, of course, of course, a good majority of visual effects were CGI, mm-hmm. but like the the hallway scene where you see. Uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt's character, um, and he's, um, he's in the hallway, uh, fighting with, uh, one of the projections, uh, from the dream. And, uh, you actually see the hallway where it's actually kind of spinning because Mm -hmm. in, in the, in the dream level above them, they're actually in a van and it's kind of flipping. So in his dream, um, 
like the hallway, the whole environment that he's in starts spinning. And so, uh, of course, you have gravity that's going along with that that and that reality that exists there. And they actually shot that scene. Um, they had that entire hallway. Um, it was attached to a spinning mechanism. So the actual mm-hmm. hallway itself actually physically spun. And the actors wow. were reacting to the physics of the hallway itself. You know who I would like to, that's pretty cool. Now I'm going to have to watch that again tonight, but um, I would like to work with Ron Howard. Oh, Ron Howard. Very talented I, man. Yeah. I, I took his master class. Yeah, he has a master I mean, class by the way, which I really want to say. So take. good. Oh yeah. It's good. I've actually watched it twice. So, and sometimes I refer back cause it's, he's very inspiring and he's so humble, really humble. And, um, I just, uh, I would love to work with him. You know, I've seen him as Opie and he was on Dennis the Menace. My son, Bob, likes to watch the old shows. I was like, that's Ron Howard. When he was little, he was on Dennis the Menace. So he grew up completely in the industry. His dad was an actor. You know, his brother Ron's an actor. I mean, um, Clint is an actor. And I just, I would like to work with him one day that would be nice i actually have a script idea ron i'm just saying no <laughs> <laughs> yeah ron, ron's a very talented know. director yeah. i mean i know yes. i know a lot of christians kind of chastise you know the the fact of the whole um background of like mary magdalene and everything but i still honestly i i still like the idea that he's kind of thinking like what if you know like kind of questioning mm-hmm. um you know what if this happened obviously it didn't happen but you know of course it's fiction you know it's based on a dan a dan brown novel uh the mm-hmm. da vinci code so of course right. you know it's fiction but it kind of it, it makes you think like what it uh, what would actually really happen you know if mary magdalene was jesus's wife o- obviously she wasn't right. but um you know it, it just kind of shows to hey how our how history how the timeline would be different you know how the the people that influence that mm-hmm. timeline would be you can't be closed off as a believer and work in film you shouldn't be closed off as a believer in anything because you'll never get into anyone's heart or have a relation you'll cut yourself off from people and we should always be open jesus jesus was never afraid we got to do what jesus did you know, uh, this, my favorite thing is red letter, Jesus, you know, read his words in red letters in the Bible and do what he said to do and, and do what he did, you know? Um, yeah. Don't be afraid of controversial things. Perversion is one thing, but controversy is another. And, you know, it, it may challenge your faith and get you deeper and stronger in what you believe, you know? I agree. I don't yeah. know what I, w- yeah. I went off on a tangent. Yeah. But <laughs> honestly, I think that's good. Like, cause especially as a filmmaker, you know, some, mm-hmm. uh, sometimes it, it's, it pays to take risks, you know, challenge right. the status quo, do something mm-hmm. different than, than how everybody else does it. That's right. Ooh, you sound rebellious. Like the seventies <laughs> question authority. No, I don't Down with the nukes. <laughs> I'm, I swear those FBI photos of down with nukes was not, it was not me in those pictures. <laughs> it was, it was, but yeah, it's but, all uh, right. One of the, one of the parts of the Bible that has actually fascinated me a lot. And I've actually ex- um, shared this with you, Gail, and, and with your husband, husband, Keith, um, uh, revelations. I mean, because love it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know there's a lot of scary parts in revelations you know it's it's going to get worse before it gets better but you know just thinking about that it's that return that return of jesus the second Mm -hmm. coming of jesus knowing that no matter the terrible things that this world may go through now or in the future that there is light at the end of the tunnel there our savior will be coming Mm -hmm. himself and not not just like uh where you know he comes as a still small voice. No, this is in right. person. The entire world will know that the Lord Jesus Christ exists. Every mm-hmm. knee will bow and will confess that he exists and that he is Lord. And just knowing that 
You know, we, we have a history book. That's what the Bible is. It's a history book. You know, if you want to know what happened during the time of Jesus or before the time of Jesus, you know, during the time of, you know, the Jews and then the Egyptians, read the Bible. You know, that's actually, a, you know, that's going to be one of the most accurate uh, ways of knowing that history. And and uh, and the thing is, uh, like, I know a lot of people who, who may dismiss the Bible and say that, oh, it's not history, it's all made up. I'm like, well, that's because what you've been taught, it's skewed from what the Bible teaches. You know, the Bible is the original information. And, Every and yeah, things are skewed and and the understanding, our understanding is opening greater. You know, it's uh some things have been taught like quote fairy tales, but you really don't know all the truth of the underlying story, you know. I I don't want to get off on a whole thing about that. There will be an upcoming film about that <laughs> <laughs> sometime in your future. Yeah, so I know um there's actually um, def- some some good uh, good potential projects coming up for for us in the future. I know, like we've definitely been thinking of a feature film. Definitely have been maybe thinking of a web series. We'll, uh, mm-hmm. We don't know. We're we're definitely uh, we're we're trusting mm-hmm. in God and just kind of seeing uh, where He wants mm-hmm. to take it. You know, because who knows? Mm-hmm. Maybe our next next project that oh we're thinking hey this would be a good web series. You know, God's saying no. It needs to be a feature film. You know, right. that way you can get more, uh, more viewers in the see Because like a lot of uh, people may want to be a, a see a web series, but you know, for that particular story, it may have a better impact as a feature film. So you know, mm-hmm. the idea is just to trust in God and just to, just to do, um, you know, what what He intends for us to do and and to pray about it. Absolutely, I agree with you wholeheartedly. We uh, thank. Thank you all for for joining us today. Thank you so much. Um, we again apologize for the uh, the delay and uh, all the technical difficulties. It happens. We did do a test yesterday, but you know, yes, um, we roll with the punches, and um, mm-hmm. we certainly um, look forward to what this uh, what God will bring um, in store for us for this show uh, for Faith Media Show, um, and we're gonna include so ma- uh, a, a lot of different guests on on the show who work in media and entertainment and that's a very very broad field so they could right. range from filmmakers to writers to directors to musicians uh newspaper and magazine editors um you know the possibility is is endless you know uh, of of the amount of guests that we could possibly have on the show and um we certainly look forward to what god has in store for the show and uh we thank you again uh, for joining us, Gail. Thank you very much for your time today. For uh, thank you, thank you for letting me do this with you. I'll get better. I promise. No. <laughs> and if anyone who wants to be able to watch um, this recording or watch the recordings um, for future shows, uh, currently we're actually going to be to offering um, the recording on Facebook um, at our uh, our Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash faith media show. Mm-hmm. We're also, um, we're currently working on it, um, but there's going to be a website that's going to have all the recordings and uh, links to the podcast and everything. Uh, faith media Uh, we also have Instagram available at, at, at faith media show. Um, so, uh, like our page, uh, follow us and feel free to watch any of the recordings that we, uh, provide for you. Um, we certainly hope to, maybe we can do some, um, you know, participate live streaming for, for events. Um, we'll certainly uh, trust in God and see what he has in store for us. What thank you very much for joining us. Mm-hmm. And we hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And uh, Gail, would you, uh, uh, we say we'd like to pr- pray, pray for the guests for us. Sure. And I just, before I pray, I just want to say if anyone feels led to do craft services at my house, when I'm on the show, by all means, no, <laughs> If it involves chocolate cake. No, just kidding. (laughs) All right. So, yes. Well, Father, we just thank you for this time. We just bless your name. We thank you for putting us in an industry and opening the doors of opportunity that we can share our gifts and talents through the eye of the lens and through the written page. Uh, We just bless what you're doing in this earth with the industry and thanking for all open opportunities and all the guests that are going to be on the show. And, uh, we just, uh, 
give you glory and honor in Jesus name. Amen. And Lord, we, uh, we thank you so much, um, for giving us the opportunity, uh, for this ministry. We certainly hope for this, this show, faith media show, uh, to be a ministry to others, uh, for those who are interested in the, in, uh, media and entertainment, you know, if they're not Christian, uh, we thank you for, for bringing them to be able to watch the show and, and to see that they can still continue in their talents and, and come to you, you Lord, come to know you. And we ask that you would be with all of our viewers, be with our, uh, be with our world, our, our, be with our country, Lord. And just, we ask that you would just bless all of yes. our viewers and to just uh, be steadfast and just no matter what talent that you bless them with, Lord, may they do that to the best of their ability. And may they use that talent as a testimony to to better their communities and be the stewards that you intend for them to be, Lord. And we thank you for everything that you've blessed us with. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And with uh, thank you, we thank you again uh, for joining us today. And um, as uh, we said before, um, you certainly can watch uh, the recordings uh, for the show on our Facebook page and uh Soon to come, uh, faithmediashow.com. But uh, we hope, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful sun, uh, a wonderful Sunday, and uh, we hope to see you all again soon.